sorrow, right? That you're not going to be sorry that you're blessed by God. That's what it means. Mm -hmm. I, I've never met a person who's so sorry that he's blessed by God. <laughs> <laughs> and, and if I would ever hear somebody say that, that person should go to a, a mental hospital, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> so nobody says that. And I've never heard of any Christian who regrets the fact that he became or she became a Christian. Mm -hmm. You know, every Christian that I've seen are Christians who are grateful and and Christians are, built, are hopeful that they're going to go to heaven based on God's promise because of what Christ mm -hmm. has done for us at the cross, right? Mm -hmm. So tonight we celebrate God and His goodness. First, Amen. the spiritual blessings that, you know, that we cannot even begin to, you know, uh, enumerate because there's just a lot. Like, if you focus only on one chapter, especially the book of Ephesians chapter 1, at least you can identify, you know, quickly you can identify maybe 14 different blessings in the heavenly realm, right? The forgiveness of our sin, the redemption of our soul, the Spirit of God, you know, the, how, how uh, we were sealed by the Spirit of God, and, and the, the cleansing of our sin, everything, you know, that God has blessed us, the peace that we have in the Lord. And now we thank God for this material blessing, you know, this house is provided by God, you know, for this family to uh, stay in. See, Jesus said, in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And what's the promise? And all these things shall be added up, shall be added unto you, right?